Okay, so muli po, magandang umaga po ulit sa ating lahat. Ha. So ngayon po, itutuloy naman natin ang kung paano mag-solve ng linear system into variables. Okay, so kung kanina po tayo ay we are solving it by graphing. So this time naman po, we are going to solve it by substitution method. Okay, so solutions of systems of linear equation into variables. So before we proceed to our lesson, and then like our our video, subscribe our YouTube channel, and click the notification bell. Okay. So when we say is uh, substitution or solving by substitution, so we have these steps for that. So solving systems of linear equations by substitution, step one, solve for one variable in one of the equation. Okay. Then substitute the resulting expression into the other equation and then solve the equation to get the value of the variable then next is substitute the value to any of the original equation to solve then for our step 5 or the last step write the values from steps 3 and 4 as an ordered pair x and y then check so for example we have negative 2x plus y equals 2 and negative x plus y equals negative 1 so as you can see so we use the equation 2 so we have y is equal to x minus 1 so yung negative x nilipat sa kabila transposition so x minus 1 okay then substitute uh, this to equation number 1. So for the equation number 1, di ba, we have negative 2x plus y. So ito na nga yung value ng y natin. So x minus 1 equals 2. Okay? And then, after that, uh, solve for x. So we have now uh, x is equal to negative 3. Then to get the value of y, uh, so, gamitin natin ngayon yung equation 3. Yung nung ginamit natin yung equation y. So, therefore, the value of y is negative 4. Okay? So, therefore, the solution is negative 3 and negative 4. Okay? So, ito po yung ating solution negative 3 and negative 4 so kung i-check natin yan so we have uh, the same uh, same value for both sides of the equation okay so this time let us have another example okay so substitute then so so determine the resulting equation by substituting the given value of one variable to each of the following equations then solve for the other variable variable using the resulting equation okay so Okay, so for number 1, for number 1 plus the given is, okay, so once again, our given is uh, x plus y equals 8 and uh, y is equal to x plus 6. Madali na yan kasi kung mapapansin ninyo yung y ay may value ng x plus 6. Okay? So what we're going to do so isa substitute na lang natin dun sa x plus y. So we have x plus the value of y x plus 6 equals 8. Okay? So yun, ito yung value ng y na ano? Diba? Which is ito nga yung y. So ito na yun x plus 6 and then combine similar terms so we have now 2x 
the 6 equals 8. Okay? And then we have 2x is equal to 8 minus 6. Transpose to the other side of the equation. So, magiging siyang negative 6. Okay? Then we have now 2x is equal to 2. Then divide both sides by 2. So, cancel na yung 2. So, x is equal to 1. Okay? So, therefore, gamitin naman natin yung second equation. So, we have y is equal to the value of x is 1 plus 6. So, we have y is equal to 7. So, therefore, our solution set is 1, 7. Okay? So, the solution set now is 1, 7. Let us check. So, to check, use the first equation. So, we have 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. So, therefore, both sides are equal to 8. Okay? So, yun ang ating equation of the line. It's a marker. Okay? So, yun. So, madali lang, di ba? So, let us have another example. So, for our example, next example, we have x minus x minus negative y or x is equal to negative y plus 7 then x minus y is equal to negative y. Okay. So, yan. So, makikita nyo, madali na yung ating first equation. So, the first and the second. So, to, to get the third, uh, third equation, so we have to substitute uh, negative y plus 7 minus y. So, ito na yung ating x, di ba? x minus y is equal to negative y. Okay? Then, we have now negative 2y. So, alisin na natin yung parenthesis. Okay. So, nalis natin yung parenthesis. So, negative 2y plus 7 is equal to negative 9. Okay. Then, negative 2y is equal to transpose to the other side. Magiging na siyang negative 7. Okay. So, negative 9 added to negative 7 is negative 16. So, divide both sides by negative 2. So, cancel na yun. So, y is equal to 8. Okay? So, y is equal to 8. Then, to get the value of x, so x is equal to negative y plus 7. So, x is equal to negative 8, which is the value of y. Yan na. Plus 7. So, x is equal now to negative 1. So, therefore, our solution set is negative 1 and 8. So, negative 1 and 8. So, let us check. So, to check that, let us use the second equation. Second equation, the value of x is negative 1 minus the value of y 8 equals negative 9. So, both sides are equal to negative 9. Okay? So, therefore, the solution set uh, negative 1, 8 is correct. Okay? So, napakadali lang po. Ano pa? Okay? So, let us have uh, another example. So, huwag na natin gawin ito ang number 3. Madali lang yan. Number 4. Yan ito. Number 5. Huwag na pong number 5 yung ating gawin. So, we have 2x plus 5y equals 9. And negative x 
plus y equals 2. Okay. So once again, 2x plus 5y is equal to 9. The negative x plus y is equal to 2. Okay. So the Korean get the solution so we have now so this is the first equation then the second equation then to get the third equation so ang gamitin po natin ay yung equation 2 kasi po yung equation 2 ang, ang mga numerical coefficient lang niya ay 1 compared dun sa equation 1 meron pa siyang 2 and 5 as numerical coefficient so let us solve it for y so, for y na. Kasi, yung ating y ay positive na. So, we have y is equal to, transpose to the other side, magiging positive x plus 2. So, meron na tayong value ng y. Then, solve for x. So, for x na po tayo. So, let us use the, sec uh, the first equation. So, we have 2x plus 5y is equal to 9. So, substitute po natin yung y. So, 2x plus 5 times x plus 2 equals 9. So, yan na na. Okay? Then, after that, we have 2x plus trans uh, using the uh, distributive proper property by means of multiplication. So, we have now 5x plus 10 equals 9. Then we have 7x equals 9. Ita transpose natin sa kabila, magiging na tong negative 10. Okay? So therefore, we have 9 minus 10. And that is, that will become, so 7x is equal to negative 1. Then divide both sides by 7. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 1 over 7. So, yun yung ating value ng x. How about the value of y? So, gamitin naman natin yung equation na to. To get the value of y. So, y is equal to negative 1 over 7 plus 2. Okay, so therefore, y is equal to negative 1 over 7 by 2. So, let us get the LCD, the least common denominator. So, it will become 1, then 7, 7 divided by 1 is 7 times 2. So, it will become 14. That is because 14 divided by 7 is 2. Okay, so yun yung ating similar fraction. So, we have y is equal to 13 over 7 or 1 and 6 over 7. Okay? 1 and 6 over 7. Or pwedeng mag-reminaling dito sa 13 over 7. Okay, now, let us check the solution. So, checking. So, gagamitin natin ngayon yung first equation. Kasi ginamitin natin yung second equation to get the value of y. Okay? So, we have 2x plus 5y equals 9. So, 2 times the value of x, negative 1 over 7. Plus 5 times the value of y, which is 13 over 7, equals 9. 9. Okay? So, therefore, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 over 7. Plus, 5 times 13, we have 65. Max, so 65 over 7 equals 9. Then, negative 2, add the, add the 2, 65 and that is 63 okay 
63 over 7 equals 9. And 63 divided by 7 is 9. So, both sides are equal. Okay? So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano mag-solve ng linear equation using substitution method. Okay? So, muli po. Marami pong salamat at sana po nakatulong itong aking video para sa pag-solve ng linear equation using substitution method. Okay? So, once again, don't forget to like our video, subscribe our channel, and click the notification bell.